Our team coverage continues with Kings 5's Kristen Ayers live at a protest in Tacoma. So, Kristen, we're hearing organizers of that march have a clear message for law enforcement. Tell us what that is. Yeah, their message and their march were clearly called Stop Killing Us. Some of the organizers of that march are still here tonight. Uh, that march began here in Wapato Park, and the question for the organizers was how to mark Juneteenth with rest or protest. In Tacoma, a tale of two Juneteenths. No justice, no peace, no racist police. This action, helmed by a group of high schoolers, started with a rally, then a march with a blunt message. Stop killing us. We're not only doing this for George Floyd, we're doing this for the Sandra Blands, the Trayvon Martins, the Emmanuel Ellis, the Saeed Joe Quins. This Juneteenth coincides with a national conversation on racism and police brutality. And organizer Theo Rollins says he and his classmates had to capitalize on that. We've been being passive. It's not getting our voice heard. I feel like we to come out here and let people know we're black. It's Juneteenth. We're protesting for something that we believe in. But in Wright Park, it's a different story. Today we're not protesting. No problem. We're not rallying, we are celebrating black people as a culture. At this gathering, free food, voter registration, and spoken word. We need to take a moment to embrace who we are, to unify and just love on each other. A chance to heal from the hard work of fighting injustice. Tacoma Mayor Victoria Woodard says there is no wrong way to do it. It doesn't matter how you celebrate it, but it has to be met with some form of education. You have to understand why this is important to African Americans. She's been answering tough questions about police brutality after the killing of Manuel Ellis in Tacoma police custody. Woodard says now the long wait for justice begins. I've instructed them to, to do the independent investigation, then to share that information with my city manager, and then I expect, I trust and fully expect that my city manager will do exactly what she needs to do. Back out here live, the mayor also told us she's encouraged by the attention that Juneteenth is getting and by watching people come together over the holiday. She said it gives her hope. Live in Tacoma, Kristen Ayers, King 5 News.